Okay, so I have no idea how this happened to me. Honestly, it blows my mind every day knowing that this has happened to me before and it sucks. But at the same time though, I did talk to a lot of the boys about this and apparently a lot of the time it happens to them as well. So at this point in time, honestly, I think it's just a lack of experience of doing the devil's head. But I mean, I wouldn't know because I am straight. Anyways, guys, today's story does get a little intense and a little crazy. So be prepared and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Also on top of that, join the Discord server because if you guys don't, well, you guys are ultimately losers and if you guys join the discord server you guys have the chance to talk to me and tell me your guys' crazy stories and also did i mention i'm the hottest guy alive so follow me on instagram other than that let's get straight into this crazy story yo what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to another insane story so this story takes place back when i was in grade 11 this was my grade 11 year and if you guys do know already i mentioned this many times on the channel grade 11 was my ultimate f boy year meaning that i literally would do the devil's tango with literally anything that walked i know it sounds really bad but at the same time though you gotta understand like teenagers will always end up doing this it's just a common thing anyways going on with the story i remember i was in grade 11 and one time i was walking around the school basically hanging out with my friends minding our own business and at the same time i was just watching a video on my phone about some new games coming out and as i was watching it i remember one of my friends that was more of a jock kind of fellow he wasn't really a big fan of video games walked up to me saying yo bro like dude trust me man like tonight bro you be busting it tonight you, you gotta get off the games man like tonight me and you, you know what we're gonna be doing and i look at him like what what are we doing he's like me and you tonight we're gonna have a crazy party bro like it's gonna be insane my brother you understand me and he proceeds to dab me up and then i'm like dude what are we exactly are we doing tonight he's like dude i told you man there's a party happening at the other school and it's gonna be sick dude and guess what this is an all girl school bro like trust me man like trust the system i end up looking at him kind of curiously and i'm like an all girl school is having a party honestly me knowing that they were having a party was insane i it, you only have to get an exclusive invite to go into one and i guess he was handing him out i wasn't really sure but i really wanted to go so obviously i remember i walked up to him later on throughout the day saying yeah man like you know what i've decided i think it would be awesome to go and he started being all hyped up and you know patting my back you know and he was like yes bro like, let's do let's go baby and i was kind of excited anyways i remember that day i ended up going home i hopped on my xbox and talked to the boys a bit before the party started my friend was telling me on my xbox how you know i got to be careful and stuff and some of the girls are really well how do i put this like ratchet in a way and that I should just be careful and also make sure there's no holes inside the rubbers, whatever that means. I don't know. I, I, it just, I had to take precautions. So I remember I told him, bro, don't worry. It's just an in and out job. Simple as that. And basically I remember I ended up getting off my Xbox, getting ready and get in my car and drove down to the party. I remember I picked up my friend cause I had a nicer car than him and he wanted to show up in a nice car. So as I was doing that, I remember we got into my car, we drove straight there. And when we parked there, I remember there was a lot of cars parked outside. Me and my friend were pretty excited, but at the same time, there was no actual parking spots outside the house so we had to like park in like this weird visitor parking area where there were like no cars like zero and it was really awkward but we parked there we got out we went straight to the party and when we got there it was a little crazy and by a little crazy i mean we had a girl open up the door and she's like um were you guys like literally invited and i remember me and my friend we looked at her and my friend said oh yeah like i was definitely invited because i'm like the football player at the other school down there so like you already know like it was definitely like a vip invite in a way you guys you could say i remember this girl ends up pulling out her phone and checking her notes and seeing if we were on the list and apparently he was on the list so he wasn't capping about actually being invited and when we went in i remember we were looking around and we're like holy cow the amount of girls that were at that party was crazy now usually in every party you go to you always want to make sure the ratio is more girls than boys because you don't want to end up being a sausage fest but knowing that there were so many girls i remember me and my friends were walking through the party and literally for some reason i don't know why these girls only school like girls are so weird like literally i remember like it was getting like a little through the night and i was talking to some girls you know i took some photos with them and stuff like that but out of nowhere and i found this so funny this one girl she was like really out of it and i'm not gonna lie i was getting pretty out of it at the time and basically knowing that me and her were wasted by the way don't underage drink kids very warning big warning don't underage drink really bad don't do it basically i remember i was trying to like walk past a chick and you know she was in front of me so i told her like hey can you move out of the way she didn't move out of the way she wasn't moving she just kept standing there and ignoring me so in a way i remember i tapped her back and she turned around she's like oh Oh, hey as she looked at me and i looked at her and i'm like hey like i'm just like hoping like you could just move out of the way she's like oh yeah make me so i remember i ended up grabbing her waist and moving her aside but as i grabbed her waist she instantly just went in for a kiss and started making out with me at the party all my friends were freaking out and the member of the jock was like see i told you get some let's go baby like all freaking out as if we were like in a classroom making out and it was super awkward and i remember i didn't know what to say so i was just straight up like yo like real quick like i gotta like just get aside because i actually wanted to go get a drink because my mouth was dry as hell 
I remember I went to go get a drink and she followed behind me and wanted to like hang out with me and stuff. So she started putting her hand in my pocket as if she was like a prisoner or something. I don't know. It was really weird what she was doing. But at the same time, like it's a girl, you know, you don't really mind it. Anyways, going on, I remember the funniest thing ended up happening where this girl would not let me go and nor let me go anywhere in the party to talk to other girls. And I'm not gonna lie, this girl was attractive. So I remember I straight up told her like, oh, like I gotta quickly go to the bathroom. So I started heading to the bathroom. And when I got to the bathroom and opened the door, I walked in and she walked in right behind me. She literally walked in right behind me out of nowhere. And I remember I looked at her and I'm like, what are you doing? She looked at me. She's like, oh, like I have to like wash my hands or something, you know? So I was like, okay, sure. So I ended up, you know, wazzing in the toilet while she was just straight up washing her hands right beside me. And then I remember I started to pull out my pants, but then she pulls it down even more. And then one thing led to another. She ended up giving me the beautiful's head. It was super awkward because we were in the bathroom of a, like, you know, a party that was happening. And I, I remember like 10 minutes went by and she was just going at it. And to me, I was just kind of sitting there on the toilet seat going, this is really bad. This is a really bad idea. And then out of nowhere, I remember someone knocks on the door of the bathroom because someone wants to get in. And straight up, as someone knocked on the door, she bit me. She bit my eggplant. Like, dude, I was like, what in the world? And I heard so much because I remember she full on like had lockjaw. Like she bit, like bit, bit as she was giving me the devil's hood. It sucked. So I remember I basically like jumped off and like her like mouth was still on my eggplant. And like, basically my friend ended up opening the door, seeing that. And he saw that live in action. And he's like, did I come in at a wrong time, bro? And I'm like, yo, 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 it's not what it is. It's not what it is. And this girl, like, I don't know why I had to like straight up push her back as her teeth were like still clamped on and it sucked. Okay. All I'm going to say is it hurt so bad to the point where I remember as I pushed her off, I straight up walked away from her and I just went to another chick and I'm like, Hey, like what's going on? And apparently like everyone knew what was happening between me and that chick and what was happening in the bathroom to the point where the, all the girls were like, kind of like just not really that interested anymore. And knowing my eggplant hurt so much, even after that, I straight up just decided like, you know what? Like screw it. Like this party's even worth it. Even though it kind of was, cause it was an all girls party almost, but whatever. And I basically ended up going down to my car, basically entering my car and wanting to leave. But as I was about to leave, the girl that bit me and the guy that invited me, my homie, ended up coming straight to the car and coming to the side of the car saying, yo bro, like she just wants to say something real quick. And the girl, she ends up looking at me. She's like, hey, um, so I just want to like say sorry. Like I, that never really has happened. I got startled and like, honestly, like you're really big. I mean, like really cute. So like, do you want to maybe like see each other again another time where it's like not in like a hard situation? I looked at her and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like I no, just, just no. Okay. So back when I was in high school, school, one thing I do realize is that there was a lot of fat chicks in my high school. And I know a lot of people right now in the comments down below are probably going to be like, oh, Bubba, you shouldn't make fun of fat people. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. I will make fun of fat people. And honestly, I will tell you this much. I am feeling a little base today. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want more stories like this one. But other than that, let's get straight into it. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. So like the title says, yes, this ended up happening to me in the most weirdest way possible. It all starts back when I was in grade nine. You see, in grade nine, I was taking a theater class. And the reason I was taking theater is because I had a really bad stutter back when I was in high school. And in this theater class, I remember partway through the semester, there was a girl in our class who was, well, really obese. Now, I'm not gonna lie, she did get picked on a lot, not only from me, but from many others. And a lot of people were claiming that, you know, basically all the people that made fun of her were fat phobic and that the leadership team in the LGBTQ community would like be there and support her and stuff. When in reality, I think the only thing that needed support was for her to hit the damn gym. But other than that, I remember back when I was in high school, I was like pretty skinny. I'm not going to lie. And she would always like try to make a comeback at me saying, oh, like you're anorexic. Yeah, but at least I can walk without making a stomp on the ground is what I would usually say. I'm not going to lie. After that comment though, I did end up getting in trouble and going to the principal's office. And so I remember one day out of nowhere, I remember in the middle of theater class, I was talking to this girl that was apparently friends with the fat girl in our theater class. And basically she was telling me how, you know, she was picked on her whole entire life. And the only way she resolved to herself was stress eating. Now me, I never understood stress eating. Like when I'm stressed out about something, I try to figure out a way to fix the problem, but I guess eating is an alternative for some people. So I remember I basically ended up saying like how I would basically start being nice to the girl and that I will stop picking on her. Even though I kept doing it in my head, I knew it was probably not right for me to make fun of her and kept saying it. So I remember one time in theater class, me and her, we ended up pairing up for a project where we had to like speak lines to each other and like do like some kind of, I don't know, role play sort of thing. And I remember basically me and her, we ended up doing a scenario where we were a couple. So me, obviously I ended up doing my role and I'm not going to lie in theater. I aced it. I was really good at 
acting like something I'm not. But anyways, going on, I remember when me and her, we were like basically going through the line. She ended up saying something that really made me feel queasy. She ended up saying, oh, like, do you want to like make out during one of the scenes? Wait, what? is what I said. To be honest, now, a lot of people might call me fat phobic for this, but every time I looked at her mouth, I always felt like she was going to eat me. And not to mention, she weighed double my body weight back in high school. So obviously for me, I decided to like, kind of like tell her no, like, you know, I'm not really like interested in doing that. And she took that offensively. I remember right after I said no to her, she ended up going to the teacher saying, oh my goodness, Bubba doesn't want to be my partner. He doesn't want to fit the role properly. He's literally going to make me fail this project. Can I change my partner? What what do you mean i'm gonna make you fail the project you want to kiss me is what i ended up saying and the teacher ended up sending me back to the principal's office just because her feelings were gonna get hurt if i didn't it's crazy how some people get their way just because they have a problem with themselves anyways i remember later on that week when it was lunchtime i was basically sitting down eating my grilled cheese sandwich that my mom made me and as i was eating it i remember out of nowhere i ended up seeing my friend walk up to me saying yo bubba i got some crazy news to tell you bro you're gonna laugh at this and i ended up asking him oh like what's going on he ended up telling me that apparently out of nowhere that the fat girl in our theater class ended up having a crush on me now i don't get me wrong i do appreciate that you know there are girls out there that have a crush on me but at the same time if i'm not interested in you whatsoever and even gone to the point of making fun of you why in the world do you have a crush on me so i remember i looked at my friend and told him bro you gotta be pranking me right and right as you know it out of nowhere on the left side of the cafeteria near the entrance i ended up seeing the fat girl looking at me and basically waving at me in the most weirdest way possible like i'm not gonna lie i basically at that point almost puked up my grilled cheese sandwich that i was enjoying so much but at the same time though i didn't want to be mean so i ended up waving back when i waved back i remember she ended up giggling freaking out and stomping her way to the theater classroom since that was our next class at that point i knew if i went to theater something bad's gonna happen and i don't want it to happen but you know what? It is what it is. I remember the bell rang for lunch to be over and I ended up going to my theater classroom. And when I walked inside, I remember I saw all the students sitting in a circle waiting for the teacher. And apparently for some reason, the teacher wasn't actually there. We don't know where the teacher went. I have no idea what happened to her, but for some reason, the teacher didn't show up. So basically from there, I remember me and the class decided to do something to basically wait for the teacher. Some kids wanted to do exercises. Some kids wanted to do their own homework that they missed out on. But then out of nowhere, I ended up hearing the a fat girl in our classroom yell oh my goodness i have a great idea why don't we like all play like truth or dare what is what i ended up saying and that's when i knew things were gonna go south basically i remember right after she ended up yelling that we should play truth or dare i was kind of freaking out thinking this is probably the dumbest idea ever because obviously i don't want to play truth or dare with a fat girl right because that could lead to a lot of things and from all the times i play truth or dare it usually ends up me being in a bedroom with them doing the devil's tango but basically i remember from there we all ended up sitting in a circle feeling bad for the fat girl because no one really listened to her so we ended up just listening to her anyway because out of pity i guess and when we all sat in a circle i remember we all ended up basically playing this game we all ended up going around saying truth or dare some dares were like you know lick the wall some were like throw a chair at a door or something i don't know we ended up doing a lot of dumb stuff but at the same time, we were only in high school. And then I remember afterwards, right after that whole thing happened, the fat girl ended up asking me a question saying, Okay, Bubba, a truth or dare? I remember I looked at her and I knew if I said dare, she's going to make me go under her rolls or something. So I ended up saying, uh, I'll take truth is what I ended up saying. And she ended up looking at me saying, okay, um, what's your favorite feature about me? As much as I wanted to say nothing at all, I basically ended up saying how I liked her shirt. And then she ended up responding back saying, oh, I bet you'll like it off, don't you? And it ended up basically raising her eyebrows at me in the most awkward way possible. At this point, I was really actually willing to gurp in my mouth and just basically end this whole game and I don't know, maybe just figure out something else. But after a while, a lot of people started getting the hint that this girl liked me, you know, the really obese one in our classroom. So my buddy thought it was funny to basically ask her to do a dare to basically kiss me in front of everyone. I remember I ended up basically standing up saying, no, I am not doing this whatsoever. And out of nowhere, a rhinoceros ended up walking up to me, aka the fact girl and end up basically kissing me on the lips but not only that i ended up tumbling and falling on my back while she laid on top of me and i almost ran out of oxygen and passed out 
I thought I was gonna die. I was literally suffocating. But as she was laying on top of me, I remember this girl ended up putting her hand, her giant, enormous Dwayne The Rock Johnson hands on my eggplant. She literally grabbed it and squeezed as she was laying on top of me. Now, at this point, I don't know what was suffocating more me or my eggplant, but I knew I was gonna die. I remember everyone in the classroom was just kind of staring at us thinking, whoa, like, was this supposed to happen? And basically thinking that this was like some kind of romantic scene in a movie, but that wasn't even the worst part. I remember the teacher ended up walking in, our theater teacher that was supposed to be there a long time ago, ends up walking in and saying, oh, are you guys like practicing for a scene? Are you trolling right now? In my mind, I was thinking, what scene could we possibly be practicing? like 365 days of obesity at this point i knew i was literally suffocating and i didn't know what to do so i remember out of nowhere i decided to do the one thing that almost every female would basically stay away from and that was farting yes i literally decided to fart as loud as i can and since my butt was facing the ground you already know the ground trembled i remember everyone ended up hearing my fart and they all looked at me saying oh my goodness bubba did you fart and at that point i remember the fat chick ended up finally letting go of my eggplant that was enormous and she literally said, oh, Bubba, you're so stinky. And basically ended up running away. Thank God that was the tactic to get her running away from me. Because honestly, at that point, I knew my farts were a savior. My farts saved the day. Now, one thing I will mention before ending this story is that I don't condone bullying. But at the same time, if you need to bully someone to get their way, probably for the best. Okay, so I'm a little sick. So don't mind me if my voice sounds a little odd than usual. But today's story is going to answer some questions that many boys might have growing up and you know, might be actually one of their biggest fears because I know it was my biggest fear, and that's girls with braces. But before you guys do freak out about this story and, you know, want me to get into it, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, because seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And also, make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, then consider yourselves ugly, unwanted, and, well, maybe weird. So make sure you guys do join the Discord server down below if you guys haven't already, and let's just get straight into this crazy, insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So I have a confession to make. I would never, ever, ever back in high school go for a girl with braces. And I have a good reason why. And honestly, to this day, I still don't go with girls with braces. And one thing I made sure of was that my Fortnite girlfriend did not have braces. If you guys haven't met her yet, well, she's on the Bubba channel. If you guys haven't go check that out, go check it out already. But yeah, one thing I've never liked was girls with braces. And I have a good reason for this. And it all starts off back in high school in my grade 11 year. When I was in grade 11, I remember I never wanted to get close with girls with braces. I never liked braces. I never wanted it, nor did I find it attractive. But I remember in grade 11, I was talking to this girl that was really attractive and she wasn't wearing braces at the time. She was really awesome. And I remember me and her would always talk and stuff. And, you know, we were being kind of flirtatious in the talking mode. You guys would know what that means, you know. And me and her, we agreed to one day do the Diavos Tango. We never could find a time when because she was always busy. Until one day she came up to me in the middle of school and told me, Hey, so like, um, I can't do anything this week because, well, I have to go get braces soon. But trust me, like, everything's going to be okay after I get my braces. What is what I told her? You're getting braces? Nah, 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 is what I told her. I told her, no way I can do a girl with braces. She looked at me. She's like, why are you so scared of braces? Like, braces don't do anything. And I told her, not what I've seen on the internet. Because let's be real here. Who wants a piece of metal close to their eggplant or close to their teeth in general? But I remember she kept telling me how everything's going to be fine and how she should not be really judgmental about her having braces. But I just told her the goddamn truth. And I was worried that in the following weeks, I would have to let her go because, well, she would have braces for the next two years. And yeah. That's a big no-no for me. I remember later on throughout the week, I kept talking to my homies and the guys basically telling them how like this girl got braces and stuff and how I don't want to like, you know, hook up with her or do the devil's tango with her at all. Cause you know, it's just ultimately disgusting. But all the guys kept telling me how braces don't do anything. There's no difference with braces. It's not a bad thing. And you got, you won't feel it at all is what they said. I thought they were right. And maybe like, you know, maybe I'm just really being over dramatic about it. So I remember that day in the following week, I remember I hit her up saying, Hey, like you free to come to my house like on Friday night just like come over she was excited she's like oh like yeah i'm down and basically on friday night when that day came around it was really scary for me because i had no idea what's gonna happen like think about it a girl with a piece of metal is gonna come near my eggplant bro like anything could happen at that moment so i remember i basically like kept like kind of like making sure i had band-aids on the side to make sure if i got cut i could put it on and you know all that good stuff and on top of that i kind of like wanted to wear a mouth guard but i don't know i felt like that would be really kind of weird if i did that i don't know i was just trying to take my safety precautions 
comes to a whole new level. Anyways, during Friday, I remember she ended up coming over and basically me and her, we started watching a movie. She had her brand new braces on and for some reason, she chose the color green and it always looked like she had something stuck in her teeth, but I don't know, apparently she got my favorite color as her braces, which was not a good idea, but I mean, it is what it is, whatever. I mean, her just started watching Ted because we both wanted to watch a funny movie. And I remember midway of us watching this movie, I don't know where she decides to come closer and closer to me and she just started kind of like, you know, wanting to do the devil's tango. But me, I kind of like stayed away and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like I'm, I'm just not into it, is what I told her like six different times. But she wasn't having it. She's like, oh, like, come on, like we've been wanting to do this for weeks now. Like, it doesn't make sense how you, now you don't want to do it since I got braces. And I kept telling her, I have a big fear of braces. Like, what if I get cut? What if I get like, you know, anything? She kept saying how like, it's not gonna happen. You know, she's, everything's gonna be fine. So me doing what I usually do, I just said, screw it. And I counted down from 10 and just decided to go ham. Me and her started to do the devil's tango. And I remember when she came down to do the devil's head, she started doing it. And out of nowhere, I felt a cut or I got like a really sharp pain. And when that happened, I remember I said, ow. And I stood up, I'm like, what in the world is going on? And I looked down at my eggplant and I started bleeding. The girl looks at me, she's like, oh my goodness. Like, no, like that's not what was meant to happen. Like, I apologize. That's not what's supposed to happen at all. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It felt like it was burning and my eggplant was literally burning. It hurt bad, okay? It hurt terribly. So I remember me panicking and screaming. My mom came downstairs because we were in the basement going to do the devil's tango because we had like a TV in the basement. And basically she came down and she's like, oh my goodness, like what is happening? Like, oh my goodness, Bubba, like why are you bleeding? Why are your pants down? And like, she was like basically questioning everything that just happened. And me, I'm kind of just standing there holding my eggplant with my hands kind of like having blood on them. And I'm like, mom, get me a band-aid. I put a band-aid on my damn eggplant, bro. Like, I'm not even joking. It was the most embarrassing thing. And the girl started like kind of like freaking out because she didn't know this was going to happen. And me, I started like basically like freaking out as well because like basically like it sucked. It was a sucky feeling. Not like sucky, sucky like that, but like sucky, like it sucked how that happened. You know what? Never mind. Going on with the story. I remember my parents were like, oh, let's take him to the hospital. Like we have to take him to the hospital. And like, I'm like, okay, like fine. Like let's go to the hospital. So me, I get in my car with my bleeding eggplant with my bandaid on it. And we drive to the hospital. And when we got to the hospital, I remember we ended up going to see the nurse. The nurse was some old lady that really hated me because of, I don't know, for some reason I like did her coworker. I, I have no idea. She hated me for some reason. And she's like, okay, so knowing your like crazy experience, I'm also going to test you for STDs just to make sure nothing happened. Bruh, my eggplant is bleeding and you're telling me you want to test me for STDs right now? Is what I told her because like, I don't know, she was just hating my guts for some reason. And my parents were furious the whole time. And I remember the girl's parents that, you know, ended up cutting me in the first place, ended up coming down to the hospital as well to make sure I was okay and to pick up their daughter. And the whole situation became complete anarchy because I remember when my parents went to go talk to her parents, she came into the room and she's like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know this was going to happen. Like, I swear it was not supposed to happen like this. Like, I, I have no idea. And I told her straight to her face. I'm like, listen, you know what? Maybe in a couple years, just take off your braces and uh, come see me again. But this cannot ever happen again. Since then, I never did a girl with braces. And I remember two years later, I ended up running into the girl again. And she wasn't wearing her braces at the time. So me and her, we ended up doing the devil's tango. And apparently her devil's head game got better. But basically, long story short, um, yeah, just watch out for girls with braces. But at the same time, like this is a rare occasion. Like, I'm not going to lie. I did end up in the future, you know, after that day doing another girl with braces and it was completely fine. So fair warning for all the people scared of braces. It's not an everyday thing, but it happens. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. So make sure to do a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And on top of that, if you guys haven't already, join the Discord server. It seriously means a lot when you guys do. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right, peace out, guys.